Good evening and welcome to 200forexpress.com. I am here with the final analysis of 20th of March 2018. Okay guys, first of all it was not a very good day for trading. However, we have hit few trades and I am going to explain the things here. So, uh, first of all, let's get started with New Zealand USD, uh, the signal that is triggered as per the signals report. 072175 was the entry on New Zealand USD with a bearish expectation from my side. And you can see that uh, today New Zealand USD has breaks the entry and then uh, it has moved towards the targeted price 071762. So this was a fine signal as per the signals report but overall uh, today the market was a bit tricky and that is why that is why when I have sent the signals in the morning and then I have written one a line that today you need to uh, use the signals carefully a careful uh, trading is required for today because there are some days uh, like this when I see the market in a different way where I just get uh, where it, it's, it's more about this having a sixth sense. Uh, the, my sixth sense was saying to me in the morning that today something is going to be happen in a negative way and today we have seen a lot of deception. I'm going to talk about this. Let's suppose uh, for example whenever I see that the things are going to be uh, a, very, a careful trading is required then on such days I prefer scalping. So like uh, guys how I have saved myself from uh, the loss on Great Britain bond USD like you can see this is a profitable trade closed on Great Britain bonds USD. I have supplied the bullish signal in the morning 140395 was the entry and you can see that first of all the it was clear it was a clear bullish pattern in formation on in the morning let me give you another hint that why the signal was bullish. If you look at the 4 hour chart we have a boost here and we were also receiving some uh, buy signals from the scalper but if we go to the daily chart then in the morning this daily candle was uh, it looks like that in the morning that this candle was going to be closed in a bullish way it was getting a bullish pressure on that time but still uh, you can see that it's uh, slightly bearish at the moment but however where the Great Britain pound USD right now it is supposed to go a uh, more up because if we talk about from the technical point of view then it should get the support from these levels and it will go up. However, I have done scalping on Great Britain Pound USD during the London session and then the trade was uh, trade quick, uh, closed quickly and after that we have a drop. So guys we have some days like this also in the market. Okay, uh, we have a loss here. I do not normally talk about the losses in my videos but however I am going to uh, talk about this. Uh, you know that I had a bearish expectation on USD JP buy from 106.255 level. First of all it responded from that level but then it closed in a hammer and it was a fake hammer. It went bearish first, it got uh, went uh, for some pips down then again it was closed up. So guys you can note down the signal because maybe the signal is going to re respond during the US session because what I am looking here uh, we have a complete upward trend on a USD JP buy till now. Now you can see that we have a hammer, we have a dodgy, so getting sell signals on the uh, on the one hour chart. So guys, that's that is why I'm just going to explain about this USDJPY. If it crosses the barrier again, one zero six two double five, if it if it goes below that level, then again we can expect a downward trend on USDJPY. However, it is closed at loss at my side, uh, but you can just note down the signal. Okay, USD CHF, this was a perfectly sig fine signal from my side. I have supplied the bullish signal from 095126 and guys you can clearly see that the market has uh, went right from the same level and it has even hit the targeted price 095335535 sorry. So, so guys whenever you see that the market is getting a tricky then you need to use a strict stop loss. Like for example, you know that I have already talked about this thing that whenever I send a line in my signals report that you need to trade with caution, then for th those days try to scalp the market, do not plan long trades. Like for example, I was bullish on Great Britain Pound JPY in the morning and I have supplied the bullish signal from 149.253 and I have set the targeted price uh, a bit, uh, you know the gap is a bit lower but it was hit in the morning right uh, 149.782 the target was already hit in the morning and we have hit this target within an hour when I have supplied the signal but later on we have a drop. So guys always make sure that whenever you get a drop on my signals then close the trade on a 40 pip stop loss. Do not go beyond that because uh, this is the only safest approach. 
you can use for trading you know that we have some days like this also um, i am not a um, i am not a i'm a very good predictor I'm, I'm not saying that i'm a very good predictor that i can predict um, the market each day very well there are some days when where the market can also beat me because you know that this market also behaves fundamentally too so my signals are purely based on technical analysis so you need to understand this thing that whenever i send a caution in my signals then on that day scalping is better do not plan long trades but however whenever you see that uh, you are getting a series of bullish candles like uh, let's suppose I, I was bullish on usdchf and you have taken the trade from here it was going bullish so until unless you are not getting any bearish candles you should keep your trades on and you can get the benefit from the rest of the trades so like euro usd has not responded today as per the signals report i was bullish uh, but it has not responded it has not taken the u turn it went down so there is no need to trade euro usd at your side and similarly the rest of signals have not taken the u turn so there is no need to trade but however that's why i say purified trading is required that there are some days when you only need to uh, trade like this like you need to do scalping so i have just made this video so that i can let you understand that how to trade the market when you are getting the situations when the market is going opposite to my signals like four signals have responded today four has not responded so how to uh, get rid of losses when there is no u-turn there is no need to trade and when uh, there is series of bullish trend and if you if you are getting series of bearish candles then there is no need to close the trade and you can get the profit from the other trades and this is what we call a purified trading so guys this is all about the today's analysis moreover if you will do another good job uh, another day and definitely i will update you through my video so moreover guys if you are looking to subscribe to my daily forex signal service if you want to uh, get the trading system that you can see on the behind the screen uh, when I was um, uh, giving the review and if you want to improve your trading technique through my video lessons or you want to request for Skype one to one life coaching then you need to use this email info at the rate of 200forexclips.com please send your inquiries here moreover guys uh, do like my videos subscribe my youtube channel and share the analysis with other traders thank you for watching the video